Seven on the Line, where we ask your aviators seven completely random and sometimes completely ridiculous questions so you can get to know them a little bit better. Today, we have number three, Ricky Kirkpatrick. Hi, Ricky. How are you doing? Hi, Sonia. I'm doing well. How about yourself? Can't complain. It's other than being warm, I'm doing great. So, Ricky, we are just going to ask you a bunch of questions and please answer them honestly and we'll just see where it goes from there. All right. Sounds good. Okay. This first question is an easy one. What is your favorite type of food? Ooh. All right. My favorite type of food um, is probably a steak. Um, uh, my favorite cut is filet. I like it medium with just salt and pepper. Um, the best is when it's like super juicy and uh, I can eat them in probably less than two minutes. Um, but in terms for, so that's, I guess, for my fancy or type of meals, but for just my casual food, um, I really enjoy eating at Chipotle um, and their burrito bowls. Um, I like a lot of pasta dishes, burgers, pizza, uh, you name it. So uh, I like a lot of food. I was going to say, so what I'm hearing is you like food, like most of yes, us. Yes, I do like food. <laughs> uh, that works for me. <laughs> food is my favorite. <laughs> okay, this next one is kind of fun. If you could be a member of any sitcom family, who would you be? And which, which family, who would you be? Ooh, that is a really good question. Um, it's a good one for me, too, because I do watch a lot of sitcoms. Um, just trying to think right now. Um, let's see. Hmm. Um, hmm. I'm trying to pick between The Office or Friends, and then I'm trying to narrow down which character I want to live with. <laughs> um, I guess for The Office, um, I guess I, I would be a little basic and I, I would be part of Jim, Pam, uh, Jim and Pam's family. Um, uh, I like Jim, he's super nice, and Pam is really nice as well. Um, it'll be funny because uh, when whenever Jim comes home, he'll have to tell me all the stories he has about Dwight and Michael just goofing around and having a good time. Um, and, um, but yeah, and they're great people to be around. Um, and then also with friends, I, um, I really like Ross and Rachel. So if uh, they have what, like a third kid or something like that. I know they're married five times or something and had a lot of kids. I can be one of them. Um, I think living with Ross and Rachel will be a blast. Um, they're all, they're both super fun. I love Ross's personality. And it's kind of quirky, just like me. Um, Jennifer Aniston and Rachel, like she is someone I always watch in all these movies. Um, and I think living with them would be one wild ride. And I'd also have four other friends in Monica Chandler, um, Phoebe and Joey uh, to tag along with as well. I like that. That's a good one. I would probably go Ross and Rachel too because I'm much more of a Monica personally. So I'd rather be with Ross and Rachel. So I'm with you on that one. All right, this next question. What is the worst thing you have ever smelled? Hmm. Okay, you're going to have to give me a little bit to think about that. <laughs> worst thing I've ever smelled. That's super... Uh, Super obscure. Um, hmm. um, I guess the first thing comes to mind was this concoction that um, someone made at a dinner table um, when I was growing up. So I always attended, when I was growing up, I was a Boy Scout. And uh, for summer camp, I always attended um, a summer camp in northern Wisconsin where we'd eat in a Kind of like a big dining hall and the way they serve they serve you your food um and they give you little condiments of like ketchup mayo um and then they also have normal like side dishes and and stuff like that and everyone at this camp that attends the camp is usually like 11 to 14 so they're really young um i was that age as well and given that the people there are so young and it's all a bunch of boys you know something weird is going to be said and something weird is going to be made at the dinner table. So um, I think one of my friends, he like combined his peaches, uh, put like ketchup, mustard, and then mayo in it into like a small cup and mix it up. 
and the and then he dared us to um, eat it, and he probably offered us like a wooden nickel or something like that. Um, and I, I was foolish enough to take the dare. And uh, the first thing I did is I took the cup and put it to my mouth, and I kind of sniffed it. And then I was instantly it was so repulsive. I gagged a little, closed my eyes, and just shoved it away. And I did not end up completing the dare. So um, I think I think he had to like tap, punch me in the shoulder or something like that because I I chickened out. But that was definitely. Uh, something really bad that I smelled when I was growing up. Nice. I mean, I feel like most people's bad smells come from a camp story anyway, so I think that counts. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm glad it does. <laughs> All right, what is your favorite video game? And are you any good at your favorite video game? Huh, uh, that's a good question. Um, I like to think of myself as a casual gamer. Um, so. Uh, I'm not super into one specific game, but I play casual games like uh, NBA 2K, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Warzone, uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Um, but um, I think this might may or may not answer the question. I'll give you my this answer and then also my traditional video game answer. One thing that I've done in quarantine, video game related, uh, is I have played over 140 hours of Settlers of Catan on Steam. So wow. uh, people know Settlers of Catan, right? Yeah. The board game. So they actually have an online platform now uh, on the gaming service called Steam for computer games. And I have logged 140 hours of it. I started off as, I was very bad for all of you Catan players out there. I started off by uh, putting my settlements right next to each other and immediately connecting them. I didn't really go for ore or, or um, weeks and I really didn't know what I was doing but after 140 hours I now think I am one of the top probably a top recreational player at Catan um, I can consistently win um, versus my friends um, I play online and win there um, and I have a good set of strategies that I go to at, uh, in order to help secure the win so I think Settlers for Catan right now if that counts as a video game is probably the one I'm best at but for a more traditional game um, I think I'm pretty good at Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare. Um, my KD right now is uh, hovering around a 1.1, so um, it's positive, and that's uh, all you can ask for, I think. <laughs> all right, then. Uh, yeah, I've, I've played Settlers uh, in board game version. I've not played it online, and I would not say I'm great either, but you get into the the video game thing and I'm like, I can play Mario Party. That's the extent of mine. So Call of Duty, enjoy yourself. You're saying <laughs> words I don't understand. <laughs> okay, 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 for so, sure. Whatever level stuff. Um, yay. <laughs> well that's good that you're you're uh playing more games this way. All right, this isn't a question that I like because I happen to be a big Disney fan. What is your favorite Disney movie? Ooh, my favorite Disney movie. Um, so I believe this is a Disney movie. Um, I like Wreck-It Ralph. I, I think it's made by Pixar, which was acquired by Disney. So we'll count it. Uh, and yes, I'm getting the confirmation that it is a Disney movie. Um, fun fact about this, uh, for my first ever internship, um, it, was, it was this place called Kids Science Labs. One of my uh, questions for the uh, interview there was what was my favorite Disney movie and why because I'd be working with a lot of kids that watch Disney and I had to argue based the reasons for this so um, I actually have a few reasons why I think that's not only my favorite movie but also I think it's like the best Disney movie um, it's it's that one or Inside Out in my opinion but I, I really like Wreck-It Ralph um, I like uh, the character development of Ralph that he ch changes from this kind of guy, guy that's self-obsessed to trying to help other people um, and, you know, um, make the, his game fun. I really like Vanellope uh, and her voice actress. Um, I think she has like a really cute voice and she's a character that, uh, I don't know, I think it's fun to watch. Um, I like it how it's race car themed and all the different worlds have different, you know, candy objects in them. Um, a lot of puns like the Mentos fountain or something like that, or uh, the Airhead, extreme racetrack so i think the visuals are really good in that and i just think it's a really fun watch um that uh, i really enjoy watching and it deals with a lot of like a fun way to depict technology to like a little kid um so 
Um, I really enjoy that aspect of it, and I think it's a really great movie. That's a good choice. That is a very fun movie. I enjoy it as well. All right, for our next one, if if there could be one animal, one type of animal that could speak human speak, uh, what do you think it should be? Who, which animals would you like to talk to? Oh, what animals would I like to talk to? So I might have to take a little bit of time to answer this question. Um, what animals would I like to talk to? Huh. See, this one's a little tough for me because I also, not only did I grow up an only child, but I also did not grow up with any pets either. <laughs> so um, I can't go cop out with a dog or a cat or something like that. What animals do I, t do I even run into? Huh. I think you guys stumped me on this one. <laughs> even going to the zoo, if you're walking around the zoo and you just look in and you're like, I think the, the zebras have got something going on up there. I wonder what they're, uh, wonder what they're doing in there. Yeah, um, trying to think right now. Um, I don't know, to be honest, I can't really, I don't, I don't have a super good answer, but I guess my favorite animal is a tiger. Um, I was born in the year of the tiger in the Chinese calendar. Um, I've always liked tigers, uh, like big cats like that. I like the pattern on their back. So I guess I would want to talk to my favorite animal because I think it's the tiger's the coolest person to talk to if it's the coolest animal. Um, and I know right before this, we were talking a little bit about Tiger King. So maybe I can just ask the tigers if they, uh, you know, like to be held in the zoos or not. Um, and just get the first hand perspective to see um, who was right or wrong in uh, the documentary. There, I, that's a really good reason. Tigers are, I like cats, so I would want to curl up with them and be like, don't eat me. I just want to cuddle with you and pet you. Oh, yeah, 100% me as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our... Final question is an either or. So would you rather be able to get into any theme park in the world for free or eat at any drive through restaurant for free forever? Oh, man, you do not know how hard this question is for me. Um, I am the biggest fast food eater, like pretty much every day. <laughs> and I am a huge theme park enthusiast. Um, I've been to like Cedar Point. Um, in Ohio, yep, yeah. roller coaster back. capital of the world. Uh, it, may, it might be. Um, I've been to multiple Six Flags, both Disney's. Um, but then again, I love fast food. I, you know, talked about Chipotle already. Already, I can go on and on. In the Midwest, we have this chain called Culver's, which I really like. Portillo's as well. Um, and then in, out in California, In and Out's always really good. Um, and man, I there's so many to name. I I, I really like fast food. So. This is a tough question. I think, uh, actually, is it, you said uh, admission free or eat out for free? Okay. Yep. So given that both of the options are really appealing, I think I'm just gonna have to look at this kind of with a student and academic mindset and, and say I would rather eat out for free because I think overall I would save the most money doing that. Um, theme parks nowadays, um, you could probably buy a season pass for around hundred dollars and go as much as you like per year. Whereas fast food, one meal could cost $10. So I think if I could eat out every day, I would definitely save more money by eating fast food. Mm -hmm. Um, and that would be ultimately why I would have to choose to eat out every day for free. That's very, it's a very logical answer. Mm -hmm. but I agree. I think you could save up, you know, the money you would spend on groceries if you just eat out every meal. There's your, there's your money to buy your tickets to your theme parks. Exactly. And I think, I think it overwhelming, you get, you save much more money by eating out than, uh, than saving on admissions fees. So it's, for me, it's, it's that simple, but yeah. Well, that is a great answer. Well, Ricky, thank you for joining us today. I, um, you had some really fun answers. I liked it. So have a great rest of your week and we will hopefully see you on the field again soon. Yeah, thank you for having me, Sonia. Have a good one yourself. You too, bye.